Welcome to episode 514, Hans Joch Weiss, Most Charitable Philanthropist from Switzerland. This is an outline of episode 514. There are three reasons we study Hans Joch Weiss. First, he is the father of synthetic limb. Second, he is the most generous Swiss self made billionaires, having given out more than $2 billion for charity when the Swiss tax law does not favor charity. Third, he is the second richest Swiss self made billionaire. Let us meet Hans Joch Weiss. What's your method as a philanthropist? Well, first of all, I learned a long time ago that you can't take it with you, okay? It's rather difficult to take all that money with you when you die. So to explain myself We're going to talk clearly. about the giving pledge in a moment. Okay, okay, okay. Secondly, as I said, I don't know if I learned anything because every project is new. Uh-huh. Every project that I do is a new, it's a new challenge, it's a new area. But when I come back to the science thing and following what Patrick said, I learned quite a long time ago that if you're a lone engineer or a lone professor of medicine alone, and you want to get it where it's ready for the clinic, you don't have the means nor the experience. You need engineers, you need doctors, you need physicists, you need mathematicians, you need IT people, you need mechanics, you need everybody in the same room working on a project. If you can create that kind of cooperation among different fields, I think they have fun, I have fun, and it will be a successful institute. He was born in Bern, Switzerland in 1935. In 1959, he graduated from ETH Zurich with a degree in mechanical engineering. From 1963 to 1965, he studied at Harvard University and earned an MBA. After his MBA, he spent decades working in various industries, such as textile, steel, and airplane. In 1975, he met a surgeon while selling airplanes. The surgeon introduced him to the idea of medical equipment. He studied for two years, and in 1977, at the age of 42, he founded Synthes. So what does Synthes do? This is Synthes most famous medical device. How he sold his company, Synthes. In June 2012, he sold his company, Synthes, to Johnson & Johnson for $19.7 billion in cash and stock. Since then, he has been living in Wilson, Wyoming, fulfilling his life dream as a conservationist. Supporting startups. Well, I have started a, you know, I shouldn't do it at my advanced age, but uh, I've started a number of uh, uh, biotech companies uh, right now in the last, last, you know, last 12 months, which of course, uh, half of them will fail, half of them will never get anything out, but I'm going to keep doing that. And I have, sup- I have another project now coming, but again, I want to give a fund where young people can have some access to money, some access to startup money, it might be small, it might be larger, because again, if you, can, if you can give young people a chance and at the same time help them a little bit, like Patrick said, out of their inexperience, you know, and, pay the, and, and teach them that profitability in a little company is not important, it's cash flow. You know, you've got to talk to them about cash, cash, cash. They think if they make money, they can succeed. You know, it's some simple, if you can, with some simple truth, help them, it's kind of fun. And then it keeps me young. Not many people can say <laughs> I started a number of companies last 12 months. <laughs> Very true. Yeah, but with other people. You know, it's not me. It's other people who created the science. It's others who helped to finance. I don't do it alone. Because really? alone I'm not good enough. <laughs> Never been good enough. <laughs> That's a big sign of modesty. Uh, 
the meaning of life or why he gave two billion dollars to charity. Well, the meaning for me is this. Once you have taken care of your family, okay, and the grandkids are already have too much, too much money, it's going to spoil them. Once you've taken care of the nurse that is now 95, visited her a few days ago, who took care for the last 20 years of my mother, make sure that she has a decent life. She has no pension or anything else. So you've taken care of the people who helped you, who helped your family, the people who have made you successful. And you've taken care of all that. Then what do you want to do with the money except give it away and do something positive? It's such a simple equation. It's, it's so, I, I don't have any other answer. <laughs> and he is giving back to Switzerland and to Zurich. I think I want to add something to your previous question. What did I learn? What I learned from the Institute at Harvard and the one here already is when I created a translational institute in Zurich. I saw there in Zurich that two fantastic universities within 200 meters of each other, really don't have any common project. Yeah, the president and the, the director, they probably have a yearly dinner and so on. So I forced them, I forced them four months ago to come together and create a transnational institute. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your comments and questions below. My next video will be Hans-Jörg Weiss, Nine Lessons, wishing everyone Peace and prosperity.